All right, what's going on everybody? This will be a quick video today. Just wanted to show you this one simple hack, especially if you're on a pro plan, a way to know where a field is used in Airtable. This isn't gonna work great for like external tools like Zapier, but it will be easy to know anything in Airtable if it has dependencies and how to go track those down. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and we help businesses probably just like yours, help you build systems in Airtable and optimize your information systems to make it really useful for your business and really effective without all the headaches of figuring out how to do this kind of stuff. If you're interested in that, you can click the link in the description and book a call with me or someone on my team to help you get started. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into this and I'm gonna show you this quick hack. So I'm gonna show all fields we previously built this whole task management system where every time we onboard a new customer, it uses a list of tasks from our task templates table, fills in a bunch of fields like due dates and notes and statuses, sets a bunch of defaults. So these fields are used in automation. Some of them are even used in formulas. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to easily figure out and track down based on a few different things where they're being used. So the hack if you're on a pro plan they added this i would say do this at your own risk i've never had an issue with it but that doesn't mean airtable won't change the way they do this in the future uh, the hack is you go and actually delete a field or you try to delete the field if it deletes successfully it's not used anywhere and you hit, you can hit command z and undo it but if it deletes assuming you haven't hit this pause thing. If it just deletes, that means it's not used anywhere. You can safely delete it, um, at least within, it's not used within the Airtable. But when I go try to delete this due date field, it will say it has two dependencies. It's used in two automations, or it's maybe used twice in this one automation. So I can see generate task list for new customers. It's used there. Other fields, maybe I go to the reports table. If I try to delete this field, it will say it's used in interface elements and fields. So if it's used in a formula field here, I would be able to go track down that field and try to take it out of this. Uh, if it was used in the interface, I could click into the interface right here and I could see it's used in a grid view. It will really only mess up interfaces most of the time if it's used in like a filter or like if you are worried about it erroring your interface, like breaking things. If it's used in the grid, usually I am safe to delete it, unless it's used in a bunch of other fields, but it's typically not gonna break your interface elements if it's just used in a grid. Uh, if it's used in filters or groups or sorts, it, it can tend to mess things up, but just being shown in a grid, not typically. If I wanted to go track down this where this due date field is used in this interface, usually what I would do is I would like triple click on this right here, copy that, go to the automations and command F, find that automation, and then go through each step in here to see where due date is used. So if I go through all of these, I know due date is used in this action. So I could take it out of here. I could take due date out of that, or I could take due date out of this step. And that's where our dependencies are. So that's a really quick way on how to find and kind of track down the dependencies in here. One other quick note is if you're having trouble with dependencies, specifically with like uh, the interface ones, you may have taken it out of your interface. So let's say, for example, in this one, we have new name shown right here. If I go back to Airtable and I try to find that new name field and I go to delete it, it's gonna say it's used in two interface elements. Let's find a different one, like name formatted. That's used in one interface element, which is in the untitled sales rep. So if I come in here and I click into this grid and I hide name formatted. Now, if I go back here and I try to delete name formatted again, it still says it's in use in the grid. What I've found is sometimes you forget to hit publish. So you have to make sure you hit publish on this interface. And now if I go back, if I try to delete this field, I'll notice now interfaces don't show up. So that's just 
it's not ideal that you have to like try to delete the field. If you're on enterprise, you don't have to worry about this. You can just uh, right click on the field and then click show dependencies and it'll pop up over here. But if you're not on enterprise, as most of my customers are not on it, then you can go try to delete the field and it will show you where it's used. So again, this doesn't work if it's used in make or Zapier, it's not gonna show you that, but it will show you if it's used in Airtable. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions here in the comments. And if you're interested in some other hacks like how to copy and paste or how to reuse single select fields, like say you have a really complex single select or multi-select and you want to use those same options in the same colors and not completely rebuild it somewhere else, check out the video here in the end screen and I'll show you that hack. It's a really quick video, super useful. I use it all the time for customers. So go check that video out and I'll see you in the next one.